Hi everyone and welcome. We're not in my wormery and we're not even going to go there today. We're really going to go um, outside in a moment just so we can deal with my brown garbage pail. And that's my first ever outdoor bin. And you can see it's been uh, now 49 days since it was originally populated, seven weeks ago. And, um, you know, this counter over here counts how many times the word fed appears. Uh, across the uh, the row and it indicates that it's been fed seven times so over the course of 49 days that may that equates to an interval of seven uh, days every seven days it gets fed but you know in all honesty I don't really keep tight tabs on when I feed that bin um, most often when I feed that bin it's uh, it's soon after doing some garden work and some trimming of my vegetables so uh, and sometimes maybe I've just got some leftover food from having fed down in the wormery and I put that in there so uh, uh, today I'm gonna be feeding again and I'll just label it as such on the spreadsheet and today it's really um, a bunch of material that was uh, trimmed off my garden plants I did a little bit of pruning of the tomatoes and I cleaned up the cucumber plant a little bit. So I've got some clippings that I'm going to be placing into the bin and, and you know, in my book that counts as, as feeding. So I'll, I'll mark it as such here uh, when I get done. But I just figured I'd, uh, you know, give everyone a peek at my spreadsheet since a lot of people seem to be interested in it. So uh, I just figured I'd start today's video um, by showing what the plan was and then we'll, uh, I guess we'll head outside now and we'll go feed the the outdoor bin okay so as you can see what I have over there is what's going to be fed to the worms mostly tomato leaves a few other things in there some uh, little cucumbers that didn't quite make it got chopped off and they'll be part of the feeding some uh, some withered away cucumber um, stems but mostly tomato leaves but yeah down here is the bin and the most most recent feeding all this material you see on top was after I did some weeding so they don't only get food from the uh, from the garden but they'll also be given scraps from when I do some removal of weeds but let's see right down here uh, here too you can see uh, they received a bunch of eggshell at one point recently too they seem like they're enjoying that as I start to probe down into the material it does seem like we're starting to get some nice castings down here I've not really looked at it from that point of view. I've been treating it as more of a place to put garden waste. Um, but off, after all, it is a um, it is a composting system, which is going to produce compost in the end. So um, I'm glad to see that the compost that they're creating is a pretty nice material. It is a bit damp, but that's fine. I do keep the lid on it, but I uh, I was thinking recently that it seemed a bit dry, so I did actually water it. I threw some water in here just to make sure that things didn't get overly dry. But it seems like everywhere we look, we've got a fairly nice number of worms everywhere, which looks pretty cool. I guess at some point we're probably gonna also going to stumble on, yep, here it is, the mango seed. One of the early feedings for this also consisted of um, removing a, a number of slow composting food items from my worm bins with the objective of uh, finishing off those bins. So uh, in order to help drive that finishing activity, I went in there and I took out all these objects that were seemingly slow composting items, such as the corn cobs. You can see a couple corn cobs here. And here's another one of these split in half mango shells there's really not a lot remaining to it it's just so soft and pliable anymore and you know if you've ever handled a mango shell or mango seed not shell uh, when it's freshly removed from the mango um, you'll know that it's extremely rigid hard to hard to bend like that this is kind of cool you can see the inside of this uh, corn cob which is almost completely eaten at this point but it's the inside it's the inside that they really seem to dig and that's where all this fine vermicompost is right inside the uh, the corn cob 
because they seem to want to burrow down into the middle of the corn cob and eat it from the inside out. On the outside you hardly see any of them. When you go into the inside of the corn cob, that's where all the worms are hanging out. Must be the place to be. All right, let's take a look under here as well. Lots of happy worms. They really seem to be digging this environment. Maybe because it just hasn't cooled off very much yet. <laughs> it's still September, late September at this point. And we're still uh, experiencing some nice warm days here and there in central Jersey, which is where I'm located. But it is going to start cooling down a lot, so I don't know if I'm going to have to take some countermeasures to make sure that the cold doesn't kill off these little guys. Remember last winter, Emily on the Crazy Worm Lady channel had done a similar setup with an outdoor trash pail. And she actually left it out all winter long, but she, uh, she did wrap the thing in insulating material and she did a few things to try to protect those little guys from the infiltration of the winter cold. So if I end up leaving these little guys out all winter, then uh, I might be best off doing a similar setup just to make sure they don't freeze out here. I'm going to see if I could just pick some of these stems of the last feeding and sort of work them back into the middle of the bin. It seems to be the more moist and more active section of the bin although maybe not I'm out here we haven't disturbed this corner of it yet it does seem like on the very edge on this side at least it's pretty pretty damp plenty comfortable for them so maybe the edges are not as dry as I thought they are it seems to be pretty evenly damp everywhere eh, either way I just figured I'd try to get the, the food lumped into the middle here all of the uneaten, yet uneaten material. Let's see if we could just check out how things look over here. We've kind of upturned the majority of the container at this point, so we might as well get a good look at every place where we haven't looked yet. And you can see a lot of this cardboard down here is still some remaining bedding from the original setup of the bin. They seem to like that, although they haven't consumed it. So, well, here I go again, rambling on and on and just playing with the worm bin. Can't seem to resist once I get my hands into the worm bin. I always feel like there's always something else to see. I want to always be checking around and probing into it and seeing how things go. But I guess I'll, I'm, I'm curious just to see how things are progressing in this bin since I've never really had an outdoor bin. And I did at one point have concerns that the black soldier flies might have um, taken over in here because I thought I saw a couple black soldier fly larvae not that I think I saw them I'm pretty sure I saw them and I, I thought that by now they might have actually started dominating the population in this bin but uh, I've seen no sign of them in this inspection so maybe it's got something to do with the cooler temperatures starting to come in it's not really cold yet per se it's just starting to get a little bit cool but I think that might be um, might be the end of the black soldier fly season so uh, I'll let the worms take over and let them dominate this bin all right enough chit chat let's get their next feeding in here as you can see it's a fair amount whole bunch of tomato leaves I love the smell of the tomato leaves even when you're watering your plants and the tomato leaves start to get disturbed a little bit they have such a awesome scent to them this was uh, one of the tomatoes just didn't look quite right so I just pulled it right off the plant a little bit more tomato leaves yeah it's been some time since I was tending to my tomato plants so they were in need of a fair amount of pruning and you can see this is a nice thick layer of fresh green soft damp vegetables for them and I guess we'll top it off with the stuff that came off the cucumber plant not quite as fresh and green a little bit more on the dry side but here too you can see a fair number of 
cute little cucumbers that didn't quite make it. It almost makes me wonder if these little guys, or at least the ends of them, would still be edible. Well, I mean, from the worm's perspective, it's totally edible. They're going to love that. Good little snack for them. And, well, hopefully this more dry stuff in the middle here will uh, pick up some of the moisture from the rest of the bin once I cover it up with the cardboard and, and newspaper. So, all right, everyone. Well, that's about it for today. So hopefully you enjoyed our little visit into the outdoor bin, which is now seven weeks in age and is receiving its eighth feeding over that time period now. But like I said, my feedings are a little bit inconsistent and now not always recorded. Okay, that's it for today everyone. I appreciate your company and thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the check-in on my outdoor worm bin. Uh, if you did then, you know, like always, please remember to give me a thumbs up. That's really appreciated. And uh, also consider becoming a subscriber to my channel. That's really appreciated as well and it helps. So, all right everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.